the Animus U Camp Program has been at Animus U since 2002. Mm -hmm. And since its inception, we've served 319 students. It sounds like a small number when you think about the 12 years that have passed, 13 years, but um, I, I feel like we've had a, a significant impact on our students as they have had on us. Mm -hmm. So the camp program, as you've heard, is the College Assistance Migrant Program, which means we serve the children of migrant and seasonal farm workers, mm -hmm. and even the farm workers themselves, if wow. they're interested in coming to NMSU. Yeah. Most of our students, uh, roughly about 67% of our students have worked in the fields. Yeah. So they've worked in agricultural fields across primarily southern New Mexico mm -hmm. and west Texas, but we do recruit students from across the state. So the CAMP program provides 50% um, housing costs in the dormitories in the first year. Um, we cover the meal plans for students in their freshman year. Okay. We provide a monthly stipend for our students in the freshman year. We support them with book stipends in the freshman year. And then after that, if we have additional funding, we, we provide book stipends for our students. After that, we have a peer mentoring program that we help our students with. Wow. We provide um, cultural art activities for our students and we expose them. We have a STEM component to our program, so we expose our freshman students to at least five or six different STEM-based programs here at NMSU. 30 students each year. All live in the dorms together. They live in uh, Rose Garrett Hall. Mm -hmm. And um, and then we have two, alum we call them alumni students, so they're camp students that are out of their freshman year. They're in their primarily their junior and senior years, mm -hmm. and they live with the freshman students. So they're sort of our our eyes, our ears at the at the okay. at the dormitories, uh -huh. but they're there um, first and foremost to provide any sort of support that the students need, that the freshman students need. Um, the majority of our students, I would say, we do have traditional migrant farm worker students that they migrate um, to the crops, mm -hmm. so they travel with their families from, let's say, southern New Mexico all the way to Washington State. California, um, other other regions of the country, but there that's a smaller percentage of students that we have. We primarily have seasonal farm workers that they work, they pick chili, they pick um, uh, onions. A lot of our kids work in the onion sheds mm -hmm. over the summer. A lot of our students work in cultivating harvesting fields mm -hmm. for the chili season, so they pick chilies as well, or their parents do. Mm -hmm. um, some of our kids work in ranching as well and in dairies. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of comprises agricultural work more broadly. Um, we recruit kids from hatcheries, fish hatcheries across mm -hmm. New Mexico, and um, some kids that work in like the pistachio farms. Mm -hmm. Freshman year, there's a little bit of separation anxiety that students feel. Yeah. So it's the first time they've been living away from home, away from their parents. Yeah. Um, many of our students, the bulk of them, come from very small communities. So Las Cruces is a big city for them. Uh, it's the first time they've ever had to share a room with a stranger. So transitioning into dorm life is sort of difficult for our yeah. students. Uh, making the transition from high school to college like any freshman student is difficult for our kids. And then after that, I think some of the difficulties they encounter is just living, uh, just kind of surviving financially is yeah, an no, issue. Definitely. Um, as they progress into their major and their field of study, it becomes a little more difficult. The fields are more narrow, and so we also have to work to try to find experts in that field, tutors, 